once again, I'm in an empty football stadium. Once again, I'm smiling because Manchester United have won a game. Might as well show you Old Trafford, I don't know, just see how beautiful it looks. And I say empty, there's still like four people inside the stadium. Just look at this. How wonderful is that? Well, today was a buzz. Um, thanks to everyone who bought that outside the ground. Did really, really well. And it was brilliant just to be meeting so many of you and to appreciate your support, to get the feedback for it. And that's really important if we're going to carry on doing it. But sold more today than at any time for four or five years, something like that. So I'm encouraged by, by that. Um, want some ratings don't you after Manchester United 3 West Ham nil that is the first time that United have won a league game by more than one goal at Old Trafford this season and we're in February that's how bad this season has been but today was really good and West Ham played well and I spoke to David Moyes in the post-match press conference and I spoke to Eric Ten Hag as well and told him I was going to go out and celebrate and he's like don't just get carried away you know it's only only one game but Actually, it's not because it's the second Premier League win in four days following the, the win at Wolves. But tonight was maybe even more encouraging. Well, this afternoon, I'm saying tonight because it's now night, but this afternoon was when the game was played. Because United were much more controlled, kept a clean sheet, and the roar came back to Old Trafford, really did, especially in the second half. There's still some nervousness there. But as that team of young, red-shirted heroes attacked, scored, sat on an advertising audience to celebrate. Well, these are good times, so I'm going to enjoy them because we've had plenty of bad times. So, ratings, Anana, seven out of 10. He sprung to his left to save a deflected effort early on. Fantastic save. And again, um, on 26 from, from World Prowls, he faced nine shots in the first 30 minutes, 13 in the first half. So, David Moyes really, Felt that his team um, should have taken some of some of those chances, but Anana kept a clean sheet. So away we go. Good afternoon for him. Diogo Dolo, eight, often central, like a midfielder, often advanced. He took three shots, um, often against uh, Kudos, who was a very good player. Uh, he shot on target through a box, crowded box after 15 minutes. Moment of the match for him was when he raced across to block. Um, and win the ball from Brown after 68 minutes. And Old Trafford roared the goals, but they loved that moment as well. And Diogo, that was a sabre rattling, fist pumping moment for the Portuguese. Harry Maguire, seven, first league start for a couple of months. I thought he was doing really well until he was dispossessed after 47 minutes, and that led directly to a West Ham attack. And then he misread that ball forward um, towards Bowen on 70, but it was Delo who saved him. I uh, thought he was better at defending set pieces, so seven for, for Harry. Um, Lissandro Martinez, eight, um, aggressively brilliant, smashed into Kudos after 17. Tangled on 67 with Kufal and he had to come off. It looked really worrying and unfortunately, after the game, Eric Ten Hag said it was a personal disaster for him. So the signs at this stage are not good at all. It would be such a shame if he is not going to be around for a few months. I'm hoping that it's not as serious as I feel that it might be now. But the way he brought um, balance to the team, and David Moyes actually picked out Casemiro Martinez, and I picked him up on that. He said that United's build-up play, Manchester United's build-up play, is much better with Lissandro Martinez. And he was trying to find attackers with some of his balls, and it would be a big shame if he's out. Uh, Luke Shaw, seven. The team misses him when he's not playing. He had the highest accuracy, passing accuracy of any player today. And it's a challenge for any player when they come up against Kudos. But while he was stretched, Luke Shaw was up for it. And I promise not to mention that West Ham player again, but that just shows what a threat he was. Uh, Luke uh, um, was decent. Casemiro, seven. Good football brain. He was his positioning, and it was the most defensive of the midfielders, but it worked headed the ball so much that was what David Moyes said about him loves the ball loves heading the ball uh, David Moyes accused him of cupping his interpretation of that word is very different to mine 
and Casemiro won the ball to set Hoyland up for the first. So that showed an improving Casemiro. Uh, Kobe Mainu, steady today at one point, was being very vocal to the midfielders around him and came off to huge applause in front of the main stand, partly because he did all right today, but I'm sure part of that was because of that wonder goal at Molyneux uh, four nights ago. All good for Kobe. Bruno Fernandes, seven. Promise I'm not going to give everyone a uh, seven. Uh, shot into the far corner and had West Ham's goalkeeper diving at full stretch after 14 minutes. Um, ball to Garnacho before for his goal was a good one. His passing range was extensive, a lot more sideways passes than forward passes. Maybe someone's had a word with that. Some nice little runs, not his best game, but yeah, another encouraging performance. Marcus Rashford, seven. It wasn't his day. He skied an effort towards um, the sky after 55 minutes, um, kept trying, uh, lots of little bursts, some of his moves came off, some of them didn't, didn't score today, but no, I'm, I thought he, he did all right. Uh, Alejandro Garnacho, nine, nueve para Alejandro de Madrid. Shot was deflected on 48 and went in for his fourth Premier League goal of the season. Sat on the advertising audience, probably to take the piss out of Kudus, who I said I'm not going to mention again, but I just have done. And then he got the third as Old Trafford finally relaxed. He made the finish look easy. He's getting better and better. He's becoming a very important player for Manchester United. He's still very young. There's going to be slumps, but he's doing 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 very well. And he would be my my man of the match today. Hoyland eight, put his side ahead. Fourth in fourth, left foot, moved the ball onto his right. Shot shot wide again after 45. Top afternoon for him. He's starting to score. This is all good, 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 good. Um, Subs McTominay on for Mainu after 63. Uh, won the ball uh, off Phillips to drive forward to set up the attack for the second goal. Shot wide after 93. Six out of 10 for Scott McTominay. Good use of substitutes, I thought. Don't rely too much on Cobby because he did well the other night at Wolves. Varane, six out of 10. Came on in, in sad circumstances with Martinez uh, going off. Uh, Lindelof came on too late to earn a rating. He came on after 86 minutes. For, for Luke Shaw. Anthony came on for Hoyland after 86 minutes as well. And Johnny Evans didn't get off the bench, but Johnny Evans gets a 10 in all my ratings. So well done, Johnny. You got a 10 again today because of the vibes you brought to the team in a wonderful day uh, against um, West Ham. Uh, who were singing, we ain't Millwall, and were calling us dirty northern bastards and singing, your city is blue, which is factually Incorrect. They also sang Let Him Die to Alessandro Martinez as he sat on the floor being injured. And Manchester United fans sang Argentina. And good good team performance today. Very controlled performance. The nervousness has not gone uh, when we're watching. You can feel that a little bit inside Old Trafford. But the roar when the team attack is, is back. The atmosphere was so much better than in recent games and people are feeling it and we're not getting carried away etc etc massive game against Villa but this is getting this is getting better United are six six won't be satisfactory if, if the team finish in six but the players are back some key players are back and they're playing well and also we're seeing the emergence of these young players who are coming through and this is fantastic this is bringing us more joy than I felt at any point so far this season and as soon as i saw the the three of them sit on the advertising hoarding i thought that picture is going to be back page of a lot of newspapers the smiles the joy the youth the exuberance the talent it was wonderful to see on a wonderful day at old trafford until next time goodbye